SMM is go. NAM. NAM is ready. NLM copies. The NASA team is ready for Tedris L cryo tanking. This is Atlas Launch Control, T minus two hours in holding. Standing now by now for our launch conductor Ed Kenner from United Launch Alliance to conduct a pretest briefing for coming out of the planned built in hold and going into our cryogenic tanking operations. Even the uh, Atlas rocket being launched tonight with Tedra Cell is going to be tracked by the TDRS system, beginning 14 minutes into flight after loss of signal from the Antigua tracking station in the Caribbean. 11 tracking data relay satellites have been launched since the first one launched on the space shuttle on April 4, 1983, 31 years ago. The TDRS system allows almost constant space communication now. The spacecraft was built for NASA by Boeing satellite system. And right now we've been informed that uh, all of our downrange tracking assets, uh, which include the ones here at the Cape, uh, the one uh, down to Jupiter Inlet in uh, South Florida, and the Antigua Station are go, ready to support. And as we said, uh, after Antigua, we'll be transitioning to the tracking data relay satellite system. We'll be on Tedris uh, East for a good portion of the flight of the vehicle and transitioning to the Tedris station over the Indian Ocean for the latter part and uh, of the flight and, and spacecraft separation. At T minus two hours in holding, this is Atlas Launch Control.
pretest briefing. This operation is classified as hazardous. Cryogenics will be loaded. Ordnance items are installed, and high pressure and inert gases are in use. Any anomaly will be brought to the attention of the launch conductor. Evaluation will be performed by a support team led by the anomaly chief and the vehicle system engineer on channel 6. COM channel 1 will be the primary command channel with backup being COM channel 2. The following documentation will be in use for today's operations. Test plan X45-LCCMD-SLC Plan Revision 21. There are no order revisions. PSM doc document configuration AV-043 Revision F. Readiness pole for cryogenic tanking. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Ready. Hydraulics. Ready. Pneumatics. Ready. LO2. Ready. Water. Ready. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Ready. Pneumatics. Ready. LO2. Ready. LH2. Ready. Hazgas. Ready. Electrical systems. Airborne. Ready. Ground. Ready. Facility. Ready. RFFTS. Ready. Flight control. Ready. Instrumentation. Ready. Com. Ready. Timer. Ready. GC cube. Ready. Umbilicals. Ready. ECS. Ready. Redline monitor. Ready. Quality. Ready. Op safety manager. Ready. ULA safety officer. Ready. Range and weather. Ready. Launch director. Ready. Proceeding with the count. Verify count to start at 2355 Zulu with a launch window interval of 0205 to 0205. O oh, two forty five Zulu. Roger. Count will start at twenty three fifty five Zulu. With a launch window of zero two zero five Zulu to zero two four five Zulu. This is Atlas Launch Control, T-minus two hours and holding. We're less than 30 seconds away from picking up our countdown. We're still on the count in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, 
Mark. And we're now at T minus two hours and counting. Start center of bottle pressurization to flight level. Roger. Start Atlas AHP pressurization to flight level. Roger. Pressurize Atlas RP1 tank to step two. Roger. Adjust CISA temp to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Roger. T minus one hour, 59 minutes. Initiate CEC safing purge. Roger. Start CEP to high flow. Roger. Start CFA purge in displacement mode. Roger. This is Atlas Launch Control, T minus one hour, 58 minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. We're into preparations now for fueling of the Atlas V. And joining us here now in our broadcast booth in the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center is Diana Calero, and she is the mission, Sur uh, mission manager for Tedris L for the Launch Services Program here at. KSC. Diana, uh, first of all, welcome. It seems like that we were just here, but yet it's been less a, than year. a year. Less, this, just just, less than just a year. under a year. So uh, Diana is uh, going to show us some of what's been going on, both uh, with the uh, Tetris L spacecraft once it arrived and also with the Atlas V rocket. So if we could go ahead and uh, roll the tape and Diana, tell us what we're seeing. Sure. So here you see the uh, teacher cell spacecraft um, being offloaded from the uh, C-17 cargo plane. Uh, it arrived in de on the morning of December 6th and um, from El Segundo, California. The teacher cell spacecraft was um, built by the Boeing satellite systems there. And here you see it being transported um, to the Astrotech, which is the payload processing facility in uh, Titusville. You see it now being um, taken out of its container um, and unpacked, and uh, you kind of—that's a good shot there of their uh, um, SA antennas um, on the top, which are in a, in a furled configuration, kind of like a little taco shell. That's how it was sent uh, to us from uh, from Boeing, and that's how it uh, it was actually fits inside the the payload fairing and, and launches in that configuration. So uh, once it's uh, painstakingly taken out of its container, it t takes quite a while to make sure it's, uh, it's hoisted safely. It will uh, be placed in a vertical configuration and onto its uh, test stand. And uh, here you see it being, a uh, nice picture of it being hoisted. Um, there's a solar ray panel in its stowed configuration. And there it is on its, uh, on its test stand. And um, while it's at the processing facility, it uh, undergoes a series of tests to make sure that everything um, it still works and functions properly from its, uh, its uh, voyage from, from uh, El Segundo, from the factory. Here you see it being encapsulated into the uh, Atlas V payload fairing. This uh, payload fairing is the uh, extended payload fairing, which is about 42 feet long, and it's uh, 4 meters in diameter. And there you see the nice uh, teacher cell logo that's uh, actually hand painted onto the, the fairing. So what's, uh, once it is encapsulated, um, it gets uh, hoisted and uh, onto a transporter. And it'll sit there um, a couple, a night or two before it uh, gets transported over to the vertical integration facility.